Us selling on Amazon gets easier with time. It is something that you may have heard from a lot of people because, and you've heard it tons and tons of times, right? That the more Amazon trusts you, the easier it is to actually sell on Amazon. And people talk about this usually regarding ungating because yes, it is actually true. The longer you've been selling on Amazon, the easier it is to actually ungate stuff, right? However, you know that in the beginning, when you start selling, you may have to submit 10, 15, 20, if not more, times your invoice and all your stuff to be to, to actually get ungated, right? Uh, if you do not know what getting ungated is on Amazon, when you start selling on Amazon, you may not be able to sell, not that you may not, you are not going to be able to sell a lot of brands, right? Everything is going to be closed. You're going to need to request approval to be able to sell these items, to sell these brands, to sell these categories. Now, as I said, the more you sell, the easier it is going to be for you to get ungated because Amazon is either going to approve you automatically without even checking your invoice, or what is going to happen is that a lot of brands and categories are going to just open up by themselves. Now, before we actually get into that, because as I said, it is actually true that it's getting easier, but it may give you the wrong idea about this whole business model. And this is what I want to talk specifically about in today's video. But before we do this, if you want to actually learn how to source for 100% free, if you want to learn my sourcing methodology, go to masteroa.com. M-A-S-T-E-R-O-A.com. You can get my free book that is going to detail my favorite sourcing method. And you can start finding profitable leads every single day. All right? Best sourcing method in my opinion. This is pretty much what helped me doing my sourcing. So, uh, actually getting better at sourcing, I should say. So, as I said, I think a lot of people get the wrong idea that it actually gets, the business gets easier. It is true that some parts of the business gets easier, like ungating. However, the frustration that you get with ungating, that you are getting right now with ungating, if you are new, this frustration is going to pretty much be transferred into another part of the business because you are going to need to deal with what, what, what you call inauthentic complaints. What are inauthentic complaints? Inauthentic complaints are when customers return your products and say that the items that they received was not authentic. It may be a mistake, maybe just because they want a refund, it may be because of a lot of reasons, right? But that's it. I mean, that's that's what's going to happen. You are going to need to deal with, like, because a few, uh, like, really, really small percentage of your orders are going to turn into an authentic complex, right? And to appeal that is pretty much the same thing as getting ungated. When you get ungated, you need to submit an invoice, and you may need to submit it multiple times to actually get, to, to actually receive the approval, right? The same thing is going to happen with unauthentic complaints. You know, with ungating, you may need to submit it 15 times, 20 times. It's going to be the exact same thing with inauthentic complaints. So, like, just a few minutes ago, I actually, see, I actually saw a guy that submitted his invoice and his appeal seven times to Amazon and said that he was given up and that he was going to acknowledge the, um, the, the complaint. So, the truth is that, you know, like, for, for one of my last IPs, not one of my last IPs, for an IP, for, for an inauthentic complaint, not an IP, for an authentic complaint that I received last year, pretty much one year ago, almost one year ago, it took me like six, uh, three, three to six weeks, I, I, I forgot exactly, but it took me a long time to actually be able to appeal the inauthentic complaint successfully. I had to submit the same thing 20 or 30 times, maybe more, maybe more time to actually be able to get the to, to get the, the, the complaint removed and to be able to actually sell my stock, to, to sell my stock. Because my stock was locked. I was not able to sell my stock. It was, uh, you know, when you get an, an, an inauthentic complaint, you are not able to sell on that ASIN anymore. And I actually had a ton of money. I think like, was it $17,000? $17,000 into just one ASIN, right? So it can be really, really frustrating. The name of the game in those cases is just to resubmit. Same thing as, as Amazon and uh, same thing as ungaining. And the truth is that for every single thing that you're going to do with Amazon, you're probably going to need to submit that stuff multiple times. A lot of stuff is going to be, um, it's not going to be easy to deal with. That's just the name of the game. And don't believe that the game is going to get easier. A few parts are going to be easier, but like scaling comes with a lot of problems, all right? Whether it is an authentic complaints or a ton of other stuff that you will need to deal with. So 
I just wanted to make a quick video on that subject today. Hopefully, uh, you learn one thing or two and you do not get the, the, the wrong idea about uh, selling on Amazon. I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Thank you for watching.